If it ain't broke, don't drink it. <laughs> Maggie Hall. I work at Broken Spoke Winery. So my parents are the owners, so I play a big role in all the executive functionings of the winery. I also work in the tasting room. Um, I'm here most weekends if you ever want to come visit me. So we're in Earlville, Maryland. Um, we're a very short distance from Chateau Boudet Winery and also Crow Vineyard Winery. We call ourselves Rivers to Canal, so you can do all three of us in one day. I have been here as long as the idea has been alive. Uh, we started up about two and a half years ago. Um, we planted the grapes about five years ago. It was a really fun day. Our whole family was there. And now I am in the tasting room all the time. Why not? <laughs> no, we're a small business and we really like to see um, Port of the Shore supporting small business, especially on the Eastern Shore. Probably some wine. Um, we will be bringing wine um, and our fun attitudes. Um, aren't they all special? <laughs> I love the Eastern Shore. There's a lot to do and it's very spread apart. So you may not see all of it surface value, but there's a lot to do here. So I'm actually into shooting, so shotgun sports are one of my favorite things to do on the Eastern Shore. There's a cute little historic town in Chesapeake City. They have a local brewery called Bayheads. They have tons of local shops, um, a little cafe, Cafe on the Bay a steakhouse, really good steakhouse, um, Prime 225. There's a little hole in the wall, which is funny because the bar underneath it is called Hole in the Wall. So that's the Bayard House, and that used to run as like the toll house between the C&D Canal. It's a really cool place. I'm gonna go with Ryan Reynolds because he owns Aviation Gin now, and I have to ask him about that. He has the best humor I know, and I think he can hold his liquor. That's like asking me to pick a favorite child. Obviously I have one this month. <laughs> I'd say the one I go to most frequently um, is Unbridled Rosé. Um, it used to be our Traminette though. That one was really cool. It had a little bit of spunk to it. So Crow Vineyard actually did allow me to taste their sparkling rosé once and it's for members only so I felt pretty privileged and it was really good. I get to meet a lot of different people. Um, a lot of people come to the Eastern Shore to relax. Um, so you get a lot of vacationers and people who just really want to spend their day here. It's really rewarding to get to know them and why they want to come here. I mean, they're vacationing in my backyard. It's pretty cool. If I wasn't here, uh, I really like to travel and I still really like to meet people. So I could see myself being like a outdoor guide or travel guide or something of that aspect. I really like what Pour Up the Shore is doing, bringing attention to all the little guys. Um, we're a boutique winery and I think it's really cool to you know, pay tribute.